Hey everybody, and welcome back to more Pirate Galaxy. First off, I want to apologize for letting the series drop. I got kind of burned out on the game. I didn't really feel like playing it, so I didn't record videos. Um, it's completely my fault, and I apologize. I can't guarantee that I will get the rest of the series recorded in one shot like I was wanting to. But I will at least let you guys know next time I'm taking a break. I owe you guys that much. For those of you who have stuck with me for a while, thank you. And I'm going to complete the series for you guys. So the first mission on Lustra. The search goes on. This one's actually pretty easy. But you have to move quickly. Let's accept it. Fly down to the surface. Alright, so both this mission and the next mission aren't too exciting. They're just your typical map exposition with a little bit of story set up. Alright, as soon as he catches up, we're going to be given a map marker. There we go. You can get to the marker as quickly as you please, but you will have to wait for him to catch up once he get there. You're going to be given two map markers this mission, both of which activate when the Admiral gets there, not when you get there. While we're traveling, I'll go ahead and mention one of the questions that was on my Terrassa videos and the person asked about ancient gear. I do have two pieces of ancient gear on this ship. I have ancient blasters and the ancient strong repair droid. The rest of my gear is rare on this ship. I would like to reiterate however that you only need top blues to do these missions. That's what I'm guaranteeing. They can be done in top blues. The only reason I'm doing it in such high leveled gear is for the sake of the videos. You don't want to watch me fought, fighting a boss for like 20 minutes. Which is what it takes sometimes. Some of these bosses can be pretty time consuming. Two pieces of advice for this mission, however. Avoid the custodian commanders as best you can. And when this mission updates, the second time after 35%, run. You'll see some glowing turrets that'll appear. That is your cue to get out of here. There they are. Now it says the Admiral must not die. Don't worry too much about him. He doesn't seem to get shot by the rocket turrets for whatever reason. As you can see though, they are very deadly, and even a tank with an NG would not survive staying to fight them. Let's see if I can get through this patch without being detected. And again, we wait for the Admiral to catch up, and then we can go to orbit. Alright, this next mission is, if possible, even less exciting than the last one, but it's at least a little bit quicker. Have to go look for an old miner on the planet's surface.
Now before you run either of these missions, I recommend spending a little bit of time on the landing zone of Lustra. Get a feel for just how much damage these higher level mantis do. You won't be getting into the deeper parts of Lustra just yet, so you don't have to worry about the difficulty getting too bad by the time you get to either of these mission areas. The big thing, again, is to just avoid the custodian commanders, and the rocketeers can be a bit dangerous for engineers and shocks. That was a waste of a rocket. Now the first place you want to check, it gives you this big old mission area, but the first place you want to check is in here, just outside of the mission area. See if he appears. And he's actually not in here this time. That's pretty cool. A lot of times he'll be right there where I just clicked. But if he's not there, you want to head out here and listen for the sounds of gunfire because he's most likely getting shot at by barbarians. In which case, we'll need to rescue him. There he is. He also took the stun from that commander for me, so that was nice. I think this is how the mission is supposed to work. He's supposed to be outside of the mission area all the time. Or... Be out in the mission area, I suppose, rather. But, like so many other things in this game, there appears to be a bug. Go ahead and scan him, there will be a slight delay. And the mission should update. So this guy's apparently either a lot older than he looks, or the years have not been kind to him. He's half deaf, can't remember hardly anything, and I'm going to infer from his facial wear that he's also nearly blind. And there we go. Alright guys, I'm sorry I didn't have anything more exciting to do in my first video back. These are the first couple missions on a new planet though, so that's to be expected really. Hopefully we'll have some more exciting missions coming up in the next few episodes. I look forward to seeing you then. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and share my videos with your friends. Leave your comments in the section below, and I will see you guys next time.